Hi everybody, welcome to Cardiologist. This is the third exercise in the course, and here we will try mainly to practice the circle command from draw panel, polar tracking from status bar, and tangent mode from OSNAP. If you want to know more in detail about those commands and other tools in AutoCAD, I advise you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. If you want to learn a drawing in AutoCAD, my mission is to help you accomplish that and to provide you with many exercises to enhance your drawing skills. If this sounds good for you, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and prepare yourself to master AutoCAD and other engineering software to be presented here on this channel later on. In this video, we will draw and dimension together this object. When you open AutoCAD, click on Start Drawing from the interface. If the grid is activated, turn it off from the status bar or use F7 key to turn it off and on. Type units in the command line and make sure drawing units type is decimal, precision is zero, draw units is millimeter. Type LA to open layer properties manager and create a layer named object. Create another layer for dimensioning. Change the dimension layer color to gray number 8. Double click the object layer to set it as the current layer. Then close layer properties manager. Make sure ortho mode is activated. Click on this little arrow of OSNAP and check endpoint, midpoint, and center point. Before you start drawing, be sure to save the file and keep doing that from time to time to avoid losing your drawing and effort by mistake. If you are saving for the first time, click on Save from the Quick Access Toolbar. Choose the file location and type the name. Then click on Save. Click on the Application button. Click on Options. Go to Open and Save tab. In the File Safety Precautions, make sure Automatic Save is checked and at every 10 minutes. Moreover, you can click on Ctrl plus S to save your progress anytime you want. Type C for Circle and click on Space. Specify the center point anywhere in the drawing area. Type D to specify the diameter and hit Space. Type 40 and hit space again to end the command. Click on space again to repeat the circle command since it was the last tool executed in AutoCAD. Move the cursor close to the boundary in order to snap the center point mark and draw a circle of 100 mm in diameter. Click on this little arrow and select the polar tracking increment path to be by 45 degrees. Two things to remember here, you can activate polar tracking with F10 key and when polar tracking is on, ortho mode will be turned off automatically. Select this circle and copy it from the center point and along the 315 degree path a distance of 200 mm. Do another copy along the 225 degree path and of distance 140 mm. Click on space to end the command. Select both circles and go to properties palette which can be accessed through Control plus 1. In the geometry tab, change the diameter to 60 degrees. Draw a 20 mm circle diameter at the center point mark, activate X line, click and hold the shift key along with the mouse right button anywhere in the drawing area. Select the tangent mode and specify the X line first point tangent to this circle. 
and the second point tangent to this circle. Click space to end the command. Repeat the command to draw an X line tangent to this side of circle and this side of circle. Select the circles and activate the trim command through the shortcut TR, trim this part and this part. Activate X line command from the draw panel. Specify the starting point at this circle center point. Move the cursor slowly to snap the 45 degree path and click once to draw the X line. Then end the command. Click space to repeat the command. Specify the starting point tangent to this side of circle. Go to OSNAP and activate intersection mode. Click on this intersection mark, then end the command. Select the X line and activate mirror command. Specify the first point of mirror line at the center point mark of this circle and the second point at the center point mark of this circle. Click space to end the command. We don't need this circle anymore, so just delete it. Select all X lines and this circle, then activate the trim command and trim these parts. Activate dynamic input through F12 key. Click on rectangle tool from draw panel. Specify the first corner at this midpoint mark. Click on rotation from the command line. Type 45 degrees for the rotation angle. I will type 30 millimeter for the width. Then click on tap and 30 millimeter for the length. Select the rectangle and move it 15 mm along the 225 degree path. Draw a circle of 15 mm radius at this midpoint mark. Draw a 30 by 10 mm rectangle from this center point mark. Select it and move it 5 mm along the 135 degree path. Alright, activate trim command. Click on space again in order for AutoCAD to assume that all objects selected and trim all of these parts. Now, when to select the object and type J for join. Draw a polyline from the center point of this circle to this circle and another one from here to here. Select these parts and activate the trim again. Trim this line, this line, this line, and this line. Select the polylines, go to properties palette, click on color tab, select color and choose gray number 9. Go to properties again and change the line type to center. If you can't find the option center, leave the properties palette and type in the command line LT and hit enter. In the line type manager, click on load, scroll down until you find center. Click on OK, OK again. Now select the polylines again, go to line type in the properties palette and you will see the type center. Dimensioning. Activate offset command through the shortcut OWF. Specify offset distance 20 mm and offset these circles. The circles will be used just as a reference to place the dimensions for better appearance of the drawing. Go to properties and change their color to gray number 9. From properties palette change the layer to dim for dimensioning. Type D and head space to open dimension style manager. Click on New and type DEM02, then continue. In the Lines tab, make sure baseline spacing is 3.75. Extend beyond dimension lines 1.25. Offset from Origin 1. In the Symbols and Arrows tab, 
Change arrow size to 1.8. Make sure dimension break size is 3.75 and go to text tab. Change text height to 1.8. In the text placement field, make sure vertical is set to above and horizontal is set to centered. Change offset from dimension line to 1. In the text alignment field, check aligned with dimension line. In the fit tab, make sure overall scale is selected and the value is 2. In the primary units, set the precision of linear dimensions to 0 and the same for angular dimensions. Click OK and close. Go to Annotate tab and click on this little arrow to choose Aligned Dimension. Move the cursor close to the circle and snap the center point. Measure the length till the center point of the circle. To place the dimension, click and hold the control key along with the mouse right button to open all snap list. Choose nearest and place the dimension here. Type DIMC for dimension continue command and find this length. Activate aligned dimension through the shortcut DAL and dimension this length. Select this object and make an offset of 15 mm twice. Type MA to activate match properties command. Select this circle as the source object, then cross select these lines as the destination object. Find the length of each part on this side. then the total length. Also, we need to dimension these lengths. Choose angular dimension from the list. Select this line and this line to find the angle between them. Type DIMD for diameter dimension Select this circle and place the dimension here. Dimension all other circles in the same manner. Type DIMR for radius dimension and select this circle. Delete the reference lines and circles where we need them no more. Now we need to prepare the sheet to print the drawing. Go to Layout Sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right-click Layout 1 and rename it to Exercise 03. Right-click Exercise 03 and go to Page Setup Manager where we can set the sheet size, orientation, quality and many other things. Click on Modify, change the print name to DWG to PDF, make sure the paper size ISOFOL Bleed A4 is selected, check Scale Line Weight, make sure Landscape Orientation is selected, then click on OK and close. Type V port and hit space. Choose single and click OK. I spoke about viewports before in tutorial 3. The command line is asking to specify the first corner or just click on space for fit. If you go to layer properties manager, you could see a layer created automatically and named div points. It was generated when the first dimension was created in the drawing. This layer is unprintable and stores information about definition points of dimensions. 
It's usually used for the viewports and for any detail in the drawing you don't want to print. So select the viewport and go to properties then change its layer to diff points. Now to print the drawing we need to insert the title block we created together in tutorial 8 of this course. Remember, title block is a template for the sheet you want to print and it includes important information to identify the drawing. So I will open exercise 01 that we did in tutorial 8 and copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select copy base. Specify the base point as mentioned in the command line. Click on this mark and go to exercise 03. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check 1 to 2. This will minimize the drawn objects twice to fit it inside the A4 sheet. Double click inside the viewport, then click and hold the mouse scroll wheel to move the drawing to this corner. If the scale is changed while moving, you could simply adjust it back as we did before. Finally, click on the lock sign to lock the viewport and prevent any changes for the scale. If the title block includes a logo and for some reason the logo disappears when you copy the title block from one drawing to another, we can help AutoCAD to locate the logo and resolve this issue by using the XREF command. Change the drawing title to Tutorial 10-Exercise 03 Change the scale to 1 to 2. Change the date and the drawing number to YT for YouTube, CAD for CAD, TT10 for the tutorial number 10, EX-003 for the exercise number. Click on Ctrl plus P to open plot setting. If this window pops up, just click on Escape button. Click on Preview to check out the drawing before making the printout. Click on Print. Choose a folder. Type the file name. And click on Save. In this tutorial, you practiced using the circle command, polar tracking and the tangent mode from OSNAP. I purposely tried to execute the commands from the ribbon as well as using the shortcuts in order for you guys to be more familiar with tools location on the interface. Again, if you want to know more in detail about those commands and other tools in AutoCAD, I advise you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. Before you leave, I have two reminders for you. First, try to practice drafting in AutoCAD many times to become more familiar with the commands and faster in drawing. And second, subscribe to the channel and click on the alert button to receive more examples to practice together and enhance your drawing skills.